Greetings everyone and welcome once again to the Daily Proverbs reading as we go through today's proverb on this 27th day of August and chapter 27. So before we get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world and hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. So let's go ahead and get started here on uh, chapter 27. Amen. Uh, it says here in verse 1, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. That's right. You never know what's going to happen the next day, so don't be boasting about tomorrow. Amen. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. So if you're praising yourself and boasting about yourself, that's not a good thing to do. It's okay to let other men praise you, but you start praising your own self, that's called pride. And so, you may think you're beautiful, but maybe you're not as beautiful as you think you are. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, God made us all his creatures, and he thinks we're all beautiful, so amen. And um, But don't, don't think too highly of yourself, and uh, amen, you'll be okay. Humble yourself, that is. Alright, so verse 3 says, A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Ooh, yikes. Uh, wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Envy, yeah. <laughs> Envying something, envying something you don't have. So, that can be pretty dangerous. So, again, right, wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. <laughs> yeah, it sure is, so... If you have that secret love and somebody open rebukes you, then you should take it with ease. Because mm. it's not good to have secret love. Amen. Uh, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Mm. The full soul loatheth the, in honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every, every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so... Is a man that wandereth from his place. Mm. Yeah. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not. Neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Mm. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friends with, with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. So, don't be a contentious woman. Uh, whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind, and the ointment of his right hand, which berayeth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Amen. Whoso keepeth the fig tree, shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water, face answered to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. Oh, yeah, mm. let's take heed of that. Uh, as the finding pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Let's go back to verse 20 about... The eyes of man are never satisfied. Well, you can be satisfied with Jesus. He's the only thing that can really satisfy you. Only the one that can satisfy. Nothing in this world. Amen. Uh, though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, uh, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not forever, and doth the crown endure to every generation? 
the hay appeareth, and the tender grass showeth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goat's milk, enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maidens. Amen. And that is the end of chapter 27. And hope you'll join me tomorrow for chapter 28. Amen. For the 28th day of August. So we'll close the Bible for today. And uh, thank you for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye for now.